Okay, I'm not gonna be on this video too long because I got some food cooking downstairs and I don't want it to overcook. But I will be back to do another video to speak on this topic. Now, I wanna briefly talk about what's happening with Boosie. Now, he's coming out of court. They dropped a gun charge. And then the feds were waiting for him outside of the courthouse. Now, I watched the video with Math Hoffa interviewing Boosie Badass, as they call himself. This dude got on Math Hoffa and said, and this is what I think got him pinched. He got on Math Hoffa and was talking about the gun charge. Now, for the life of me, I don't know why dudes get on camera and snitch on themselves. According to Boosie, he said that usually if there's a gun, firearm, they usually have the younger person take the charge. Now, why would you get on national YouTube and say some mess like that? You just snitched on yourself. You just admitted in so many words that the firearm was yours, but yet you allow a younger one to, to take the charge because they're not going to do much time. Especially if the person got no charge. If he's got a clean record, you have celebrities, rappers like Boosie would actually pay somebody to take their charge. You just told on yourself. Don't you find it quite ironic? Now, it could be something entirely different. But don't you think it's quite ironic that right after he had that Math Hoffa interview, the Fed snatched him up. So this could be a setup. It could be a thing where the state says, okay, the state, listen, don't get it, don't get it, don't get it, don't misunderstand this. The state and the feds talk to each other. So the feds will say, okay, listen, go ahead, drop that charge. We'll pick them up outside. Instead of it being on a state level, it would be on a Fed level. Especially if Boosie was almost death row at one time. And he got away. We got him now. So state, drop the charges, and then we'll pick him up on a federal level. And they snatched him up, was waiting for him. How did they know? that he had a court date. How did they know? Because they talk. So when Boosie left court, they picked him up outside, outside of the courthouse. And they say, Negroid, think you got away, didn't you? Right? Now, there's people that's, that's, that's trying to blame Charleston White you know, you're going to have people that's going to blame Vlad TV. But the only thing they can do is ask a question. Boosie didn't have to answer those questions. Or he could have gave them, you know how the politicians do? They ask them a direct question and they start talking about the moon. You know, well, the sun is starting to lose its strength, you know, and it's because of Trump. And if it wasn't for the Trump administration, the sun would be shining a lot brighter, but it's Trump's fault. Well, sir, you didn't answer the question. I was making some baked beans this morning and they fell on the floor. If I wasn't thinking about Trump, I wouldn't have dumped my food on the floor. Now I'm angry. Okay, then they go on to the next question. In other words, I ain't answering it. But you got people like Boosie that would get on there 
and talk about, yeah, pow, 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 pow. You know how they do the, the little finger gun, right? And talk about how they let the younger person take the charge. Boy, you just rat it on yourself. Now, I don't know what they got him for, but I find it quite strange that right after that interview on Math Hoffa, and people are blaming Math Hoffa, but he ain't got nothing to do with that. Nobody told Boosie to get on there and talk about how some younger person is going to take the charge, especially the ones that don't have no record. You know, and I'm they, I'm sure they pay them off, pay them a little bit of money. Yo, this will be waiting for you when you get out. And because you have dudes that's, listen, what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose a soul? What would a man give in exchange for his soul? So a lot of y'all will like sell your own selves for a few pieces of silver. And now you got Boosie now on federal charges and they, and they can, they can listen. And another thing too, and I made this on a video on my other channel, right? I find it quite odd that all of this, these political crimes are being done by Biden. I mean, open borders. Um, he's a threat. He's the biggest threat to national security. Biden is in the Democrat Party. Look at what his son is doing. And instead of talking about the the human trafficking and the the the, the laundering of money, the money laundering, and him partnering up with enemies of America, Russia, China right? Uh, sending our tax dollars right in front of your face over to the Ukraine. All this mess going on that Biden is doing. And here it is. Y'all going to vote him back in the office, but yet you laughing at Boosie because the Fed snatched him up. Make sense of that. And then you're going to go on election day and still vote for him. Even though you got family members and friends, even you yourself is homeless. Could barely make it. Go to the store and buy a can of air freshener and spend $40 for it. And you're going to vote that clown back in the office. And the only thing you talk about is Trump. But you're going to laugh at Boosie. Yeah, they got that nigga. They got him. He got on Vlad TV. Yeah, they got him. He, 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 he. You, you guys don't even see what's happening to you. I made a video a long time ago was saying that black folk were going to go back into slavery. Biden even told you. He said they wanna, they're want they going to put y'all back in chains. Who you think he was talking about when he said they're going to put y'all back in chains? He was talking about himself and the Democrat Party. And you dummies are now, they're trying to replace you what? Okay. They're replacing black folk and you don't see what's going on. Right? And the only thing you talk about is Trump being indicted. He need to do time and but Trump is doing this and doing that. And Biden is destroying you. Anyway, I didn't mean to get on that topic. I apologize. We talking about Boosie. And I smell my food. I'm going to go downstairs and finish cooking my food. And maybe later, I'll come back on here and do another video. But Boosie told on himself. But again, I don't know what they charged him for. But he admitted that the firearms, they put the blame on somebody else. And they got that video. It's easy for somebody to, to extract the video from YouTube. They can put up all the security they want and all the blocks they want. But if somebody want that video, all they got to do is hold up an iPad or a cell phone to the screen and record you. And they got the information. Right. And it's just like the rappers. We get on a record or a song. Yeah, I did this to her and I raped her. I pulled the pants down. She screamed and moaned and I threw it against the wall and, you know, and had her in the back of the car and. I took it and I took it and I took, 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 took it. And people are jamming to it. Yeah, that's a hot beat. 
Next thing you know, the feds snatch you up. And you wonder why. Because I'm black. Anyway, listen, be careful what you say on camera, man, right? Because you're going to be like Boosie, be like, yeah, we had guns, but we let the younger ones take the charge. And then he now thinking he walked up in a state court and all charges dropped. What? Okay, I got the best lawyer in the world. Walked outside, yeah, I beat the system. Feds, can I talk to you for a minute? What I do? But what I do? All right, but we're here about it. Whatever it is, it's it, whatever's done in the dark, it's going to come to light. So feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time. I'm fearless.